Hi guys, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Wednesday and that means classic rock. And today we're going to look at a Canadian artist from North Vancouver who has so many accolades I, I really don't even know where to start. Uh, Juno Awards, Grammy Awards, he's got the Order of British Columbia, he's an officer in the Order of Canada, he's got stars on the Canada's Walk of Fame, Hollywood Walk of Fame, um, he's recognized as one of the best-selling musicians of all time. And I'm talking about Brian Adams. Now the only album I have in my uh, collection is Brian's second album, his, really his breakout album, You Want It, You Got It. Pull back a bit there so you can see the whole album. And it really put him on the map on a couple of really big hits that uh, kind of got him started. And just a couple of uh, interesting facts here. Uh, well, he's from North Vancouver. Brian Adams is actually born in Kingston. Who knew? Kingston has a rich history in the entertainment field. Uh, Zell Yankowski from The Love and Spoonful, when he left the group, moved into Kingston, opened a restaurant, Shea Piggy's in town. Um, Dan Aykroyd, when he's in uh, Canada, Kingston, his, his home base. We've got uh, Gordon Downey in the, uh, Tragically Hip from Kingston. And Adams moved from Kingston to Ottawa. And a whole other fact about Ottawa with the entertainment industry, it's the same. I mean, we've got Brian Adams in Ottawa. Uh, Dan Aykroyd was born in Ottawa. Um, Matthew Perry lived in Ottawa from Friends. Alanis Morissette's from Ottawa. Tom Cruise lived in Ottawa in the uh, early 1970s when he was just a young lad. It's funny how all these things kind of connect. So a lot of these although they weren't in Toronto, had connections to a couple of other major cities in Canada. Now, Brian Adams' second album, first album didn't do quite so well. He had actually wanted to title this album, Brian Adams Doesn't Know Who You Are Either, but he couldn't get that past the record company and they settled on You Want It, You Got It. Um, I'll give you an idea who we've got playing on here. We've got Brian Adams, uh, Tommy Mandel on keyboards, Brian Stanley on bass, I don't think that's our Brian Stanley, but wouldn't that be funny if it was? <laughs> yeah, we're going to town, uh, Brian Stanley. Uh, Mickey Curry on drums. Jamie Glazer on guitars, doing solos on a number of tracks. And another guest guitarist, G.E. Smith. Now, you may remember we talked about G.E. Smith, who quite a few episodes ago, we featured G.E. Smith in the Saturday Night Live band because he was musical director for Saturday Night Live for quite a period. And he also was musical director for Bob Dylan's anniversary concert. So, actually, it was one of the few people that actually commented on my G.E. Smith one because I said that we didn't have tracks available. And uh, somewhere on uh, YouTube, if you look at their episode, one of the comments is from him saying, here's where you can buy the album and giving you some idea where you can send the money to buy a hard copy of it if you want. Uh, we've got so G.E. Smith, we've got Jimmy Malin on percussion, Jonathan Gerber on sax, and Cindy Boland's background vocals. So I'll just name off a few of the tunes. Some of these will probably be familiar to you. Again, you got to remember this is a breakout album when he just far, just started to get. No, I said just started. Cut that out, you guys. We're not going to redo that either. We're just going to go ahead. But he just started getting uh, getting some hits out, and he's had years and years of hits. I mean, the albums, uh, the music, uh, music from Robin Hood. You know, the, what he's done has just been amazing. So we're looking at uh, side one, Lonely Nights, One Good Reason, Don't Look Now, Coming Home, and Fit You Good. Side two, Jealousy, Tonight, Title Tune, You Want It, You Got It, Last Chance, and No One Makes It Right. And at this point, Brian has really defined his style, and he's kind of continued this style on, you know, over the years. You can see, boy, what a young lad this is here, right? We'll be talking 1981. Not too old, probably early 20s when he put this one out. But he's gone on and over the years he's just become a, a monster performer, singer, songwriter, and the work he's done just amazing. When I was looking him up on Wikipedia, it was just page after page after page about Brian Adams. Uh, and I was there at the beginning. Like I say, I haven't got a lot of albums. This is one of my favorites. Certainly lots of uh, opportunity to listen to him on streaming networks, hard copies. It's not hard to find some music by him, and if you haven't had a chance to listen to him, you're probably one of the rare few. Good time to sit down and put a little bit of Brian Adams on and 
relive the old days or maybe just discover a whole new artist if you haven't had a chance to hear him before. Okay, so that's it for today. Brian Adams, you want it, you got it. We'll be back on Friday. Friday we're going to do comedy, something a little different. I've got a comedy legend that we're going to look at an album of his, one of the last recordings he made. So I hope you join us then. Until Friday, everybody take care, stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.